Hi, Dean. Here is Misha. Um, I got your number from your buddy, Mike. Uber coming. <laughs> Good morning, Albert. Well, in yourself. It's gonna be dark here. <laughs> So I'm off to Truth Coffee to meet up with Misha. Misha is a travel vlogger who focuses mainly on health and fitness and you know good living. So my name is Misha Janietz. I'm a world traveler, aka travel vlogger. I'm also a pro natural athlete. It means like I have to, on top of traveling, also hit the gym at least five times a week. And I'm also a plant-based, um, place plant-based athlete. That means for the last three years I'm. Uh, I was eating all plant-based vegan, so that makes it a pretty challenging um, mix to keep up with everything on the same time. What's happening? What's happening? We are selling socks to you. Welcome to Cape Town. We are just going to be talking a little bit about, you know, travel, the, the what it's like to make videos crossing over the world. Uh, let's hear it from somebody who's been doing it for a while, who's been doing it. Um, a good job of it. He's got two channels running. He's got an English channel and zusätzlich noch eine deutsche Seite. Ich glaube, das muss ich auch machen. Uh, yeah, you probably didn't know I speak German. That's because I am Swiss, just like the guy I'm meeting. Enough talking from me. Let's go meet Misha. Thank you very much. Have a, a good day still. Let me go find this dude. <laughs> Not knock your car door. Ah, sneaking out. Ciao. Okay, somewhere in there. As you may have picked up from the decor, we are in a steampunk coffee shop. It's also been voted as the number one coffee shop in the world. Whether that's true or not, who cares? The coffee is good, the vibe is good, the scene is good. Give it a nitro. What's it? A? Nitro cold brew. Mm, flat white. No, One. actually Americano. One Americano. So we do the long black there for you, sir. And then you get to choose your beans as well. Which bean or blend you would like it in. I'll go with your suggestion. Let me bring it for you first of all in our very renowned house blend. Our resurrection blend. Sounds like what I need. <laughs> a nice, smooth, easy drinking coffee. How important is structure and planning of your video style compared to just being passionate and just going for it and talking free? I like that question. Uh, I think you need, you need a certain amount of both. Because if you're not structured at all, if you don't plan your day, your, 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 what you want to do, it's very hard to visualize what you want to talk about. Even if, you, even if you're a very good free speaker, there is always, in my opinion, a very big uh, message you should like have or like at least the storytelling. And I found out for myself especially that I can't really storytell, I can't really be perfectly like free with my mind if I don't know what I want to do the whole day. So if I just live in the day with no real goal, it's way harder to transport all those emotions and all those, all those nice things coming with the vlog. So I think you really should have a good solid plan for the day. A good group of people with a good dynamics which basically are your best friends in best case. So when you have that, you, you're already open more. And with that, you just have to be very open with the camera. You basically have to think that the camera is your best friend. And you do, oh, I always said, YouTubing is a nice thing, vlogging, because it's basically like a free psychiatrist. Like you can just yeah. like talk all your, all your moods, your bad moods, your good moods, if you have a bad day, you can just talk into the camera and you get like instant feedback from people. They're gonna tell you, hey man, it's all good or whatever. So it's, it's kind of a cool thing to have it, but you really have to enjoy the whole process of it, definitely. Oh man, after this one here. It's the real tasting stuff. What's the hardest part for people between like traveling and making videos at the same time? The hardest part? Um, having enough batteries. <laughs> having enough batteries charged. Enough memory cards. 
No, I would say definitely the whole uh, organization part. Like being, being, being like in the moment, being present at every time, especially for the camera and for the viewers. And on the same time being on point with like, there is my next flight, there is my next appointment, there is my next Skype call to, to set things up. If you, if you have a, um, a nice workflow, this is the most important thing to build up that workflow, to be actually able to be comfortable at all times. Any quick advice for anybody who wants to get into this, like into travel? Yeah, just start off with your phone, I would say. Like, don't think about like what you need and why you can't do it. Don't never say you can't, just ask yourself, why can't you? So you can actually start to write down all the things you have to fix. And then you will find out that it's actually easier than you think. So start with like your phone or with a GoPro, see how you like it. And as soon as you feel like there is something on, invest your few first hundred francs, dollars, euros in a camera, go on from there and just get better and better. Just set your goal to every video you do, it's gonna be better than the last one. Like keep improving. Don't watch too much what other people do. Don't be the consumer. If you want to be the producer, you should stop consuming too much. So maybe go for inspiration for one or two, uh, yeah, one or two videos Amen. a day. <laughs> that is, yeah. Right? Yes. One or two videos a day to get inspiration, but don't watch too much vlogs because you have your own adventure by yourself. Everybody else is just doing their own thing and that's good. But if you want to do your own stuff, be sure that focus on yourself and on your goals and your vision. And there we go. Oh. Is this the menu? <laughs> That's the menu, sir. <laughs> What's so this what laughing we, on the what sidelines? What's up, team? Well, I've just ordered for my two gentlemen the Nitro Cold Brew, which is one of our, simply one of our best cold brews here that we've got. What motivates you to just keep putting up the, the, the content? So I started off as a fitness influencer, fitness YouTuber, and I'm still very, very deeply um, passionate about the sport and about like telling people the right methods to um, just to like get in shape and stay in shape and, and, and achieve their next level of potential. And with that, I also have a big passion for the whole um, plant-based nutrition and food so this is basically the big thing which still holds me uh, there to, 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 to give everything every day because I really want to like show people that you don't have to eat meat five times a day or you don't have to like 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 basically stay at home and do your everyday routine just to get jacked and on top of that I also uh, run uh, three companies which are very lucrative for me as well so as soon as I would stop vlogging, I would also basically ignore the fact that those companies are living from my impacts as well. So a vegan supplement company from Germany, ProFuel, my um, sport fashion label, ProBroWare, as well as my online training company, Sciencetetics. So those three uh, companies are very um, depending on my work on YouTube, as well as Instagram and everything else. So for me, it's a big thing and everything together, it's just a, an awesome way to, to, yeah, to, to do everything. So it's very much about you, you. You're sticking to what you're passionate about, and that keeps your motor, Yeah, keeps you going. Exactly. So even though there's hard times, like for example, if you if you're uh, like landing in Bali after a 20-hour flight, and everything you want to do is just sleep, but you know that you should go and work out as well as like get some r good food. That's just an easy way for me to do. Like for a lot of people, that sounds hard to do that to go to the gym and eat healthy after all those all those big things but for me it's actually easy because I really love to do it as well as for example filming a full day in the hot sun like a lot of people think like it's so hard and afterwards it always looks super easy and it's actually not that easy but it's still like for me a super super nice struggle because afterwards I already know that the, the product the finished product is, is, is worth it the experience you know we have been Furiously working on a plan. Very um, productive meeting. Yeah. <laughs> we got three days of shooting ahead of us. It's going to be a triple collaboration. I'm super pumped to be here. Uh, I've, I've been here for two weeks, didn't do anything more than just like being a little bit on the beach. And now in those two weeks, we're going to squish everything in. Everything. Make in. the best out of it. Epic video, it's, epic places. It, that's Cape Town for you. It, like, good, chill in uh, last minute. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have a good team now. We have a, a very dedicated a tour guide slash uh, videographer. 
we have uh, a lot of good models, so yeah. this should be should be a good thing. I'm James. Uh, it's been really, really pleasure having you guys here with us today. You are at the world famous Truth Coffee Roasting, where we roast coffee and serve the world's absolutely best. I have had way too much coffee. I'm bouncing off the walls. Let's get home. Let's edit this stuff together. Big collaboration coming up very, very soon. So right over here we've got our Chris Jones's fabulous coffee contraption, which is basically a coffee dispenser with all our different strands and blends over there. It took uh, Professor Chris Jones exactly one year and one day to finish this right here. So it's the only one of its kind. Uh, really, really cool.